And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is live coverage of this Ligue 1 match. It's Clermont Foot, and they take on Stade de Reims. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, when you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3 4 3. And I think we see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. And a look at the starting lineup for Reims. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And this confrontation is underway. Lopi. Matusiwa. Balogun. Dion Lopi. Happy to take on the shot. And up for grabs off the keeper. And problem solved for now. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. So what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Gone along. Okay. Rashani. Still a chance. Well, really calm, composed goalkeeping there. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. And using his strength to shield the ball. Borges. Could be threatening. A poor cross, all things considered. Marshal Munetzi. Well, showing good patience. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Can he get them in front? Oh, it's in the nick of time. Must score! Oh, a goal! The error seized upon, and the goalkeeper left with egg on his face. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, he looks so uncomfortable with the ball at his feet. He's cost his team a goal here. Mm. 
Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Gastia. Gone on all. Well, no stopping him. Jim Alevina. Well, strong play to hold the ball up. On the offensive. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. trailing but hope in the form of a corner well these fans have had to be patient could this be the equalizer <laughs> taken short dangerous ball Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, there it is. The away side haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, a really effective performance all in all. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And strong play here. Well, not the best clearance. And a fantastic diving save. They take it short. Now, will the cross work out for them? And a goal! They're going to take some stopping now. Two in front here. Let's take another look, because it's a well-worked short corner that just changes the angle of the cross, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. Back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Ito. We've had the official word there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Going well. Laid into the center. And in the end, no damage done. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack. Yeah, he just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening.
Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Opportunity to deliver the cross, and a timely intervention. Munetsi. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Beautifully weighted ball. Terrific block. And the flag does go up. Must have been close. Here it is now. A substitution. Saif Edin Kawi. Alevina. It is a decent looking attack here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Now can they counter clinically? Well, it fizzled out. Jim Alevina and using his strength to shield the ball offside close one Marshal Munetzi. And they'll get ready for the throw in. And they will make the change now. Okay. Really good challenge. Ito. Promising attack this. But the danger averted for now. Seydou. 20 minutes to go. And that puts them in position. Well, it comes to nothing in the end. Offside. Well, he doesn't need to make his movement quite so quickly there. Just let the ball be played into the space. Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up. And now both will rely on their respective benches. Well, he's lost the ball. This looks more than decent. Will he finish? There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Ito. Well, this game will shortly be history, and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your take. Well, if they want to get something from this game, they need to start getting the ball into the box that little bit quicker and get players attacking the ball. Otherwise, this game will just slip away from them. Mania. K. 
Okay. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Kawi. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And they're making a change. Playing it in. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. So two minutes of stoppage time here. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he should be pleased with himself today because he performed really well. He scored a good goal and they won the game. An excellent day all round.